side there in the yellow, you've got Razor, Noxious, Squeak, Red X, and Soaks. Meanwhile, on the side of Brighton Stratton College, currently the higher seed here between the two teams with a 9 and 1 record, we have Peace, Manually, Pan uh, Pantera, Nenwai, and Prota to line up the squad. It's going to be starting up and getting our heroes picked up for this first initial attack here for control. The race to that control point is going to be rather urgent here for both of these teams, and I think that explains why we're seeing Winston essentially here for both instances here. going to be a lot of pressure onto Pantera and Squeak to get there as fast as possible, but alongside the mixture of support from Red X and Soaks there with the Ana and Brigitte ex um, independently here. One long range option, one short range option. Seeing Squeak just kind of in position as of this moment. Let's take a quick look here and see what in the world's going on. A little bit of high ground action on both sides. Let's hop to one of them. Right here, Soaks is getting absolutely tampered with by the tank line, but does not end up going down here. Meanwhile, Squeak is in enemy lines here, and it's actually gonna be Soaks, the long range shot there with the Brigitte shift to allow for the Saints to push on forward here. And there we go, exactly what Saints Nation is gonna to wanna to see is Noxious and the rest of the Saints were able to capture that point, start building some percent nice and quick on this one. Meanwhile, Peace and the rest of the Brian Stratton College squad try their best to find a way to breach this one. Saints rather spread out here, but as you can see, Peace doesn't necessarily have a lot of room to really make a comfortable flanking angle. So it's gonna be kind of tampered with for the time being here. Razor, lots of space in the skies to stay away from Pantera on that Winston. Nice and safe. Meanwhile, we're going to be hopping in on the, the high side here. The Brig is going to get really close to staying down. Sure enough, Nenwai is going to end up going down as Razor does manage to go a little bit one for one. Pantera and the rest of Brian and Stratton are thinking about it, but they are actually going to jump on to the top line here. But we see the purple getting some massive value, actually. And some big damage coming out here from Bryant and Stratton College. Pantera getting credited with a couple of the eliminations there as well. So a good dive right onto the high ground to at least mess with the Saints support line. And the rest was kind of short to follow after that. So solid job there once again for Bryant and Stratton College to get back into the swing of things nice and quick. However, if they're not careful, the Saints will have ultimates. And never mind, Peace has screwed that. I'm just going to bomb you instead. Completely taking the Saints off the board before they had a chance to even turn the corner. Beautifully done. Saints should have about four ultimates online. Soaks not too far behind as well here. Just a couple of swings with that mace, of course, will have their ultimate as well. So we've seen a little bit of the positioning here from Brian Stratton. And a nice boop, actually. Makes things difficult. Squeak, though. Big boop, actually. Immediately sending the brig on the side of uh, Brian Stratton all the way off to Narnia and into the Shadow Realm at the same time. Really going to send fire here. Bob going to be coming out here from manually. Is going to be able to successfully take care of one. Peace on the side of Brian Stratton. Does have a little bit of a flank line onto the DPS. But in the meantime, the tank line here of Squeak alongside Razor was able to get onto the point, but not enough to actually get it. A huge sleep dart actually there from Proda. How in the world did you pull that angle off? Beautifully done, to say the least. So they're going to be able to actually clean this up nice and quickly. Pantera and the rest of the squad here at Brian Stratton College going to be able to clean things up nice and quick, keep that percentage building, and we now have ourselves a 75% tick here for the side of Bryant and Stratton. Time is ticking. Saints are in a pressure point scenario where they need to move. We kind of see the awkward positioning here. There's not one building that you can specifically dive into and get a lot of value here if you are Squeak. But we are going to see Pantera diving on in. Immediately takes out the support line between him and Peace. Fantastic job. Razor are going to be trying to fight back, though. Up in the skies there with that Echo. Noxious is on point. Going to have to be forced to recall. Not quite going to be able to get the job done, though. Squeak on site. Not going to be able to get there. Emergency Lucio coming on in to try and get there nice and fast. We have themselves a duel. On point, overtime ticking down. It is Noxious versus two. Manages to get off Prota, but actually falls off the point. It doesn't matter, there isn't our Saint there. The Saints are going to be able to barely hang on to this one and get the point back into their favor to bring some percentage back into their pockets. Very, very close, very, very scrappy, but they got the job done. Beautifully done, St. Clair.
take a look and see what we're kind of positioned at this time by. Lots of Saints over on that far side. We are going to see Squeak dive in. That boop makes things a little bit awkward, but we'll see again. It's going to be Soaks taking off the board pretty much as the team fight starts. Squeak dives on in onto the support line. Some decent damage, but not enough to necessarily get anything done. We have Razor Echo Ultimate in play here using the ult from the opposing Winston, but just going to end up being a massive nuisance, if anything. Noxious, meanwhile, absolutely pestering the squishies on the side of Bryant and Stratton. Takes care of Proda nice and quickly. Just a matter of dealing with the Brig, as percentages are going to end up winding down. And as of right now, Saints are in control, but here comes the tank line of Bryant and Stratton. They do have control ever so slightly, but now here comes Squeak. Primal Rage intact. The point did end up getting flipped. Very, very awkward scenario for both of these teams. Two Primal Rages firing away. Saints have temporary control, at least for the most part. The support line on the side of Bryant and Stratton have been forced away, but it's up to the Saints defense, the short offense rather, to try and get there. Immediately gets taken down. Noxious is all the way at base. We have a Sleeping Monkey on the point. Can somebody there from Saints get there. Absolutely not. Not this time. Scrappy, well-fought battle. But this one's going to be going over to Brian Stratton here for round one of game one. And now we have the fun one that all of us in our ranked matches have probably been scarred by at least once or twice as we... <laughs> try to rank up out of bronze. This pit is my nightmare, but the amount of time has been knocked into there. Way too many to <laughs> want to admit to. Five, four, three, but of course, this different kind of composition, one, or this different type of map, rather, requires a different type of composition. We're going to see a very, very close range, high speed comp kind of coming out of our Saints this time by. A little bit different, though, on the side of Brian Stra Brian Stratton as it's going to be instead of opting for the Malga like the Saints have, opting for the Orisa, something they'd be for a little bit more bunker potential. But this awkward, awkward, awkward angle here into the this pit that there is no way that Pantera is going to be able to get out of that one. Noxious is going to be able to shadow step away and just be able to deal a ton of damage. There we go. This is exactly what we want to see here for your St. Clair College squad. And we are going to be able to take care of the point at least off the rip. So with so many players on the point should be A-OK -okay for the time being. Trying to see where Brian Stratton is going to opt to end up coming from here. Still mainly a bunkerish kind of team composition at least for the moment. Hopping along here with Manually and then Peace in just a moment's time to see where they are in the vicinity of this fight, because it's going to be a lot onto them to try and see if they can get past this Reaper first and foremost. Noxious took a ton of damage, and that did actually open up the door for the side of Brian and Stratton to really get in there and get the job done. Good night, Razor, and good night, Sinclair, as they get completely taken off the map nice and quick. Captured right back on over, and they're actually going to push on forward to try and maybe do a little bit of a spawn camp. Do see a little bit of a high angle here, so bear with me with that, but it's going to force the Saints squad to go all the way to the right through the buildings to try and even get anywhere near this point. But of course, immediately going to be scouted out. That's an awkward little bounce here for St. Clair. It's going to be the call essence coming out here from Red X to try and get things moving since there was no tank line for at least that first little bit. But oh boy, Brian Stratton, you just walked into a pair of shotguns. I don't think that ends up very well for you. Dragon Blade coming out from Peace immediately gets demolished. How about a dead eye at that? The only one dead is you, it looks like here manually. So it is now going to be Pantera and the support line of Brian Stratton to try and get themselves some more time on this point. But, I mean, a valiant effort, but it is going to be St. Clair that do end up taking that fight pretty handedly after you basically face-checked shotguns and immediately getting taken off the board. Is that a little bit of aerial firepower I see? Sure enough, Peace is going to be switching up the Genji this time by opting for the... 
the aerial rocket blasts of Farah and just being able to stay away from those close range engagement tools that St. Clair has. The extra boop is going to make things difficult as well. Razor's turn to try and pop off the Dragon Blade, and it's going to be a Razor's turn to immediately get Shrek after the fact. So it is now going to be all the Noxious who immediately dies as well. Everybody from the side of St. Clair going to get evaporated nice and quickly. Solid play here for the side of Brian Stratton College to uh, just line up and kind of get a little bit of surprise factor with the poke damage there from Peace. As you see, the splash damage in that close quarters area. I can get on almost sympathy pains of sorts just looking at the amount of splash damage that is doing. Knocking everybody around as well. Very, very awkward. Ultimates will be on deck very soon here for Peace as well. Gonna be diving on in. Coalescence gonna try and get onto Squeak. Barely going to keep Squeak alive here. Saints are gonna be able to get this point and flip it back over for just a moment's time. No, that is going to be the Fire Alts coming on through. Lots of splash damage in that close quarters. And the building's actually made for fantastic cover here for Peace as well. The Saints could not get to them extremely easy. This point is gonna be flipped right back over. And we have a bit of a stagger happening at the same time to really put the Saints in a world of hurt here. By the time they actually get themselves a fair fight, this game very well might be over. Peace, though, goes into the building, and it is going to be for their doom, as they are going to, again, find Noxious with those shotguns on this Reaper, and if this boom, can he get out of time? No! This is exactly what I'm talking about. That well is dangerous, and as of right now, the Saints are trying to hang on, but overtime is ticking. Can somebody touch the point? It is going to be Razor, who's going to be walking into a dead eye and will be taken down. Squeak, though, and the rest of the Saints are on their way to try and get themselves back in the dodge. But look at Manually and the rest of this Bright and Stratton squad go as they have been able to hold on through. Die, die, die. You're the only one who's dead. It's going to be Bright Stratton taking game number one. Very well fought battle here for game number one. Unfortunately, here for your St. Clair College squad, they are going to end up dropping it. So, back into the pressure cooker of sorts here. As we are going to see peace, I believe this is going to be that initial pulse bomb that did end up going through onto the support line. Sure enough, it took out Red X pretty quickly and really opened the door for a very, very early takedown of sorts here for the Brian Stratton squad. Gonna be hopping into game two in just a second. Don't go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere either. We can chill for a little bit as we wait for game number two to get online. Gonna be St. Clair College's map pick in just a moment's time. New Junk is going to be the map pick. We did see this a little bit during some NACE play. I'm not necessarily sure in regards to Collegiate Homecoming, but of course, like, no major changes to the map from what I'm aware of, so... We'll have to see how comfortable they are in that regards. There will be no break going in from Game 1 to Game 2. After Game 2, there will be a small break, however, so there's something to note for everybody. And the one thing inter that's interesting as well, because of course we follow a lot of... Um, collegiate, like, the, the NACE League. Excuse me, tripping over myself here today. But we follow a lot of NACE, and the way that they do it kind of mirrors what we would used to see in pro play in regards to what kind of maps off first. Overwatch Cleach Homecoming does their own thing. I know <laughs> I tried to use a specific overlay in regards to showing which maps were, uh, which ones were selected and whatnot, having all the map types in order look nice and whatnot. And it was completely broken because I didn't realize to do Flashpoint second. So that is exactly what we are going to get here. New Junk City Flashpoint going to be coming around the corner here in just a moment's time. No substitutions or anything along those lines it's looking like for either team. And to be fair, that was a very, very close battle. I wouldn't necessarily want to anyway with the way that those ones went. Just awaiting a couple of ready checks before we hop in. But of course, while we do that, why don't we quickly take a look for ourselves at the bracket that we are currently dealing with. Of course, nice to see a bracket that does not have a single DQ for a no-show. That like never happens. So props to all the teams that are here to make that one happen. And of course, depending on who loses this matchup, they will end up playing on November 9th. That is going to be next Saturday where they will then compete there. Win again, or win today in this first matchup, you get to go play your quarterfinals matchup also 
um, later on today around 3.30. Saints and BSC, of course, underway versing whoever. And the winner goes up against, that's either Bellevue or Cumberland, which is going to be an absolute crazy matchup as well. But I am kind of thinking a little bit ahead of myself. Don't want to necessarily get there yet. Of course, both these teams, like still anybody's game. Sure, Bryant and Stratton made it work for game number one. And as the higher seeds, I guess they're kind of favored to do so. They're 9-1 and one compared to our 8-2. and two. But how many times here, Saints fans, have I said that it was going to be a close match on paper based off of results and current records? And then just completely ate it <laughs> watching the matchup afterwards. So anything could, of course, happen as we hop in to game number two, New Junk City. Going to be underway in just a moment's time. That is one remarkably huge battle bot. Need another one. We need some, <laughs> some Robot Wars kind of... Um, action to happen in this arena. But we are going to get the heroes lined up once again. No substitutions for either team to start this one off here. Let's take a look at what the Saints are cooking with as of this moment. Of course, they still have some time to change up if they really did want to. Rays are going to be the sneaky snake there. And the Sombra Noxious on the Reaper. Some pretty decent success during the second part of that Alios game, but just could not quite get it alongside the rest of the Saints. Squeak on the Malaga, Red X on the Moira, Soaks on the Lucio. They need speed and they want it now. Meanwhile, the side up, Bryant and Stratton are going for that combination that we saw in the last match. Get the Genji, get the Cassidy, and then hunker down, bunker down there with the Orisa. They're going to be meeting midfield right outside the arena. Squeak took a hell of a lot of damage early, and it's going to put a lot of pressure here on Red X and Soaks to try and get them going. And actually, they are barely going to keep them alive, spraying that AoE heal all over the place, keeping them in the game. Nox just diving on into the pit up against Prota. Good luck with that one. The shotgun's going to win every time. St. Clair are going to take the first capture here. Not the first capture, but the first... Um, you know what I mean. They have control first, to say the least. Immediately, peace is right back to the Farah. So, Saints didn't necessarily have an answer for Peace's Farah in the last game. We'll have to see if they do this time by. As of right now, that is some major damage. Red X immediately going to be caught out and exploded upon. Now, with a lot of squishy members here for St. Clair, as Razor falls down as well. Peace is finally going to get taken down. Noxious with the shotgun is going to be able to take them out. But it should leave the door open for the rest of Brian and Stratton to come on through. Actually, no. A lot of them did end up falling there. So even though Peace got some major work done in the back line, it was not enough for Brian and Stratton to get onto point. So they'll have one more push here. Manually here on the Cassidy does have the Deadeye available. And then it's going to be immediately answered here with Red X, who has the Coalescence manually. Going to be popping off with the Deadeye, sneaking on through alongside the ultimate from Proda. Moving on forward, but nobody from the Saints is going to get caught. Noxious, the classic combo of alt into death. That is about as true a combo as a Tekken combo. And we are going to see the rest of the Bryant Stratton squad move on forward, make no mistake, and punish St. Clair for a team fight that just did not necessarily get positioned properly. Saints going to be back to the drawing board to try that one again. But granted, now on the doorstep, they just have to capture this thing, or get in control, rather, uh, one more time to bring that to 100% and get the first of hopefully three flash points. Razor does have the EMP available. Going to be really huge depending on how this goes. Fires on through. That is going to be three members down. The rally did manage to go underway already, though. That is now going to be the shots coming out from Peace, but Peace is going to only be able to find two, which means it's going to be only up to Pantera and maybe Proda to try and get the job done here, but a huge double kill there from Pantera. They managed to flip this, and the rest of the Saints end up falling. They used a bunch of resources, but just barely scraping by. Proda keeping Pantera alive long enough to pop the ultimate, 
and absolutely wreck the hopes and dreams here of the Saints Nation being able to catch that one. Then now it's going to force Saints to dive on in with no resources at all. Granted, neither does Bryant and Stratton, but you can see with no resources, it is all up to peace to just go full, like, <laughs> sickle mode of sorts here on this point sure saints captured but it doesn't matter the damage is still flying from above this is going to eventually be uncaptured here next to nobody or nobody at all for the side of brian stratton went down nobody's going to be able to touch it and now first point going over to brian stratton huge comeback Nobody on the Saints opting to switch yet to try and find something. I guess it's a little bit more traditional to deal with pieces far up, but they are still being able to get a ton of damage nonetheless. It's just kind of on to squeak to really pepper them down, to say the least. But now we have the sign of Bryant and Stratton already on the, the flashpoint ready to go. We see our Saints coming in from the left-hand side here momentarily through the building. You know they don't want to find themselves into a very, very tough choke. There's going to be the Coalescence coming out immediately alongside the ultimate there from Proda, making things extremely difficult for the Saints to try and push through. Squeak is not long for this world, immediately getting taken down as Peace just hunts everybody else down alongside manually. They built the ult charges. They have four in the pocket. They have the, posi the positioning necessary to really punish St. Clair if they cannot pull off some sort of miracle EMP of sorts from Razor. That is personally where I'm going to be looking as this team fight gets underway because that will make or break this fight given the alt economy. Where in the world is Razor? Immediately scooped up, actually. Going to be stuck trying to heal up a little bit. And Peace is just doing such a good job of making things difficult. Finally going to fire on in. Dives on through. The MP comes on through. And it's going to get two. But they do manage to get Peace. So some big damage off immediately. Manually goes down as well. As of right now, St. Clair have the fight that they were looking for. All things considered, very remarkable because... In all honesty, that should not have happened, but we will absolutely take those every day and twice on Sunday. So can we do it again here with three alts on the board for Bryant and Stratton? We'll have basically three alts on the board here for St. Clair as well. So they really got themselves out of a really, really tough spot able to make that play. Oh, and Peace immediately jump scares Noxious. That was absolutely terrifying. And Soaks is going to be able to pop the uh, sound barrier. We're going to see the ultimate from Pantera coming out as well. Immediately bursting down Squeak. And this one should, in theory, go on over to Bryant and Stratton. The jump scare Pharah was super effective on Noxious that time by. <laughs> Noxious thought he was being the sneaky one. Well, Peace, unfortunately, giving them the wake-up call here as manually is also going to be able to get a bit of a, a stagger kill here onto Razor. With this point basically being ticked down, there is no contest. Bryant and Stratton up to early here in this second game on this flashpoint. Noxious has had this ult for an eternity, but has not been able to actually pop it in a spot that would be... Uh, I guess, effective of sorts. Going to be charging on through. Saints are going to be the first one in there, but as we've seen time and time again between manually and peace, it is going to be tough to try and stay there for a long period of time as you just get picked off over and over again. Noxious absolutely finds the opportunity, though. It eliminates Proda. It eliminates peace, and it's going to leave the door wide open. St. Clair are going to be able to do a fantastic fight and get themselves this flashpoint nice and quick, keeping themselves in the game for game number two. But just like that, we hear the rockets, we hear them coming. It's going to be peace and the rest of the Brian Stratton squad swinging back at it. Just keep your squishies safe. The barrage is available, and immediately you do see peace looking for the flank as the rest of the Brian Stratton squad move in alongside the Deadeye. Does that leave the door open here for the barrage? You can see them looking for it, and sure as hell, that is going to be super effective as four Saints immediately fall, and that flashpoint is as good as yours, Brian Stratton. I absolutely love what I saw out of Brian Stratton that time by using the dead eye alongside the movement of Pantera to really scare the Saints into moving in a certain way. 
which just opened the door for Peace to unleash the barrage and get at least two quick eliminations to make sure that even if they did end up going down, that they were still finding value. Oh, these rockets with these direct hits are absolutely nasty. Razor has the EMP available. Sound barrier going to be coming on up here and looking for the opportunity to strike. Squeak can move on in. That is going to be the translocator diving on through. EMP gets three and two onto the support, so it's actually a pretty high value EMP. But can they convert off of this back and forth battle? Peace is still in the fight alongside Proda. But same time, there are more Saints on the field. It's just a matter of dealing with this pesky Farah. Uh, finally, Red X there with the Purple Beam of Death going to be able to take care of that one. Saints flip it back over and are going to put pressure to maybe capturing this third point and keeping themselves in the game. Alt-wise, it's going to be all on Proda and Peace more than likely as we get into this fight. Just a couple of shots, they will have it. Manually is going to be right around the corner as well. Meanwhile, for the Saints, Sound Barrier plus the Death Lotus right around the corner. Where does it come down? They need to look for the flank to try and get Proda through. The beam's going to be extremely difficult. 99% on the clock here. And immediately, the combo coming out here from Peace. There is just too much damage coming on through. Ultimates are just being used for the sake of using them, it feels like. But with this being game point here, if Brian Stratton can convert. It explains why, sure enough, game number two going over to Bryant and Stratton. Scrappy, scrappy games, lots of fantastic fights, but just unfortunately here for your St. Clair squad, not quite able to convert this time. Play of the game going to be going over to Red X, though. Always cool to see the support line find themselves a play of the game. And I mean, when they line up like that and Noxious is spinning, it'll absolutely... Love to see it. Of course, with that, though, the Overwatch Esports broadcast is going to be requesting for a break. So this is going to be our opportunity. Take a quick breather. Get ourselves a drink or so before we get back into the swing of things. As we now have, of course, our Saints squad on match point already. Definitely a terrifying thought. I will see you in just a couple of moments for game number three.
right, Saints Nation. We are coming right around the corner. Here is game number three on the throne of Anubis. This one, of course, is a bit of a newer map to myself. A little bit of a newer map to the community as well. And from what I understand, a little bit of a newer game mode. It's basically, uh... They took Hardpoint from Call of Duty and they threw it into Overwatch. Even more so than what Flashpoint already is. So... To us esports veterans, this game mode plays very, very similar to what we already know. But to see it happening here in Overwatch is definitely different. Hello. Biggest thing that we are going to need to see here for our Sinclair squads to bring this one home, or at least to a game number four, is to see if they can deal with pieces Farah. They've been trying their damnedest to not have a like traditional like hit scan counter to try and keep their composition afloat. But they have not been able to really deal with it. The flanks have been too strong. The positioning has been good just overall here for Bryant and Stratton. And immediately the rockets come raining through. Rarely forcing Red X to get onto the healing basically immediately. But going to be able to keep them all afloat for now. But as we can see here when we hop on in towards the POV of manually from the side of Bryant and Stratton. They're all on the capture point as is. And this one, slowly but surely, cook it on through. The Saints going to try and get themselves onto point. Lots of long-range shots here coming on through. This composition really allowing themselves to poke extremely well. But now we're seeing exactly where the Saints team composition thrive. And it is in those close quarters combat scenarios. Just a matter of dealing with that damn Farah. Finally going to end up going down here. Saints are going to be able to capture hard point number one. Feel free to yell at me in the chat. I know it's not actually called Hardpoint in Overwatch, but I'm just uh, going off of what I know, to say the least here. Razor immediately getting dinked down to about quarter HP. That was definitely scary, but you have the retreat to the health packs and the support line. Squeak on the Malga, ready to move on forward here. A little bit more of an open area for control this time by. Brian Stratton going to start building for Synth nice and quick. And Terra immediately going to be shredded down after getting hacked by a Razor. And they all go falling down for the time being. It is all up to Saints to try and get back on board. They are going to be able to successfully do so. Squeak does end up falling, however. Some good damage coming out here from Noxious once again. Just catch out Lucio. Going to be super effective at doing so. Soak's going to find themselves the finishing blow with that boop as well. Two quick pickups here. For St. Clair. Head to the next point. Next point right around the corner here. Not much of a travel distance for the Saints to really get to go through. But you cannot get caught in transition. And we see Peace is really trying to get a nice quick early pick. To make it so that this next fight is just not fair in the slightest. The AoE damage coming on through manually. Right there as well. And this high ground is going to make things difficult. The dead eye is not going to end up working. Big dive actually coming on through. And we see Noxious down in the corner. Holy hell, Quadra kill coming out here from Noxious. Absolutely fantastically done. Where did he come from and where did they go? Immediately taken off the board here. I did hear the MP coming on through as that is going to be peace. Immediately taken down. Manually it's a big headshot to be able to spin this one around. And right now, that first point's coming right around the corner. If the Brian Stratton squad cannot capitalize, they're trying so dang hard to get there. Trying to just get by a squeak, but you can see over and over again, Saints are able to hang on until finally the cavalry has arrived. And Saints do end up falling for the time being. Trying to catch up with their closest Saint. As of right now, another one going to be picked up here. Or rather, the first one is going to be picked up here for the side of Brian and Stratton. Just one team fight too many here for your St. Clair squad. Now, Pantera has been absolutely nasty this series so far with these Teresa uh, ults. So, God forbid any of the Saints clump up. We oh, could see some big damage coming on through. Capricorn coming on through once again. Squeak is going to be put in for a roll of hurt here. So does Soaks. Going to get chopped down slowly but surely by the entire team. Everybody getting a piece of that one. 
Crota and the rest of Brian Stratton can just dive on in one after another and be completely A-OK -okay with this. Noxious is probably not going to be long for this world. So there he goes. Granted, he did manage to get two in return, but that's not going to be enough to stop the capture here for Brian Stratton. And we're actually seeing a little bit of a, a switch up here coming out from Peace. What is more annoying than getting poked down from afar with rockets? How about not being able to play the damn game because you're frozen? We are going to see the May come on out here. And just like that, big damage coming on through one after another. The Saints are falling. That's another one on the board here for the side of Brian Stratton. It almost looked like they were going to be getting swept here if the way that game first started. But now, on their way back. Hanging in there, but Saints, Saints Nation, do not fret. We do have resources. We have the EMP. We have the Death Lotus. But at the same time, we're going through four ultimates on the side of Bryant and Stratton. This needs to be an absolute money EMP. Can they group them up and make something happen? The hack on the Pantera was, I think, actually effective. It is going to be the ultimate coming on down. Deadeye going to be coming down here from manually as well. Squeak trying to dive on in. EMP finds three of them. Death Lotus comes on through, but Pantera fires an ultimate for themselves. Absolute raffle stomping right on the Saint's face. And it's all up to Noxious to try and hang on to this point. No chance in hell, good sir. And it is going to be once again. Brian and Stratton never say die. They're going to get themselves another point. He's going to be kicking themselves a little bit for how that one went down, but with so many resources available there for Brian Stratton, you can't really see it going any other way. The EMP was so close to being, like, just absolute money. Finding three is huge, but unfortunately, they could not quite capitalize. Maybe it just wasn't quite fast enough. Now, point D getting unlocked in just a second, and I do believe positioning once again is going to be going on over to the side of Bryant and Stratton. Red X immediately picked off before this fight even really gets underway. Squeak though, huge punish on the two. But can they get themselves on to this point? They are gonna have to dive on in here. Peace does end up falling, of course. Noxious diving on in. Point blank there with the tank line. But it's actually not gonna end up going their way for the moment. Soaks does find one more. Saints looked like they were about to fall, but they do manage to get back onto the capture point. Can they get this? I believe this would be for the game. Emergency Tracer coming out here from Peace as well. Just wants to get somebody to touch this damn point. Where is the ult coming on through? There comes Proda, keeping Pantera alive for as long as possible. Sound barrier coming out for the Saints as well. But it does not matter here for Pantera. You got the beam. It doesn't matter. It looks like we got the win here in this team fight, which in theory should mean game three is going on over to St. Clair. And just like that, there it goes. St. Clair Saints, hope's not lost. We're still on the board. Support line getting tons of love here in these play of the games. Nenwa is going to find it there with the Lucio. What on earth happened here? That sound barrier right at the time. That's why, even though it seemed that Noxious's uh, Death Lotus was so good, it still just wasn't quite enough to get the job done. So, incredible job here for both teams to be honest these fights are just absolutely fantastic this is the kind of stuff i love trust me i love the fact that our saints are good but watching them absolutely 3-0 and a handshake people every single week of a regular season it gets kind of old a little bit doesn't it so it's awesome to see that they are absolutely being pressured here by brian stratton college put to their wits and really having to show exactly everything that they have Map selection going over to Brian Stratton College since they did drop that one. We'll confirm with you exactly which map we are going to be on in just a moment's time. Series in the chat. So we are now 2-1 to one in the favor of Brian and Stratton. Brian Stratton, of course, match point. If they can manage to find themselves one more, I believe this is still just best of five. I mean, watch it be best of seven, and I completely forgot and missed something. That definitely would not be the first time this happened this week, or this day, or in the last couple of days. But some good action nonetheless, though. It 
does actually appear that the Overwatch esports side are going to be taking themselves about a 5-10 minute break. So I'll chill with you for just a couple of moments here. Quickly snag a quick break for myself as well when the time comes. No maps have been selected yet, so you know what? Let's quickly take the br take the break right now, and we'll get back into the swing of things with game number four very, very shortly. Thank you all for tuning in. So, it seems like we are the farthest along here. Illinois State was ended, or did end up being the first seed overall here after the Swiss stages. Absolutely wrecking everybody. We hit that game to score that match. Still doesn't have a game completed after 15 minutes. I wonder what in the world happened there. Got UCI. And U of T right there as well. UCI looking like they're in pretty good uh, position to take this one as of right now. Bellevue and Cumberland. This is in theory the winner of our match, who we would end up playing. Bellevue and Cumberland University is doing a nice even battle. I'm sure that'll be a good one as well. Catch a replay of that one. Of course, currently, BSC Bobcats, one we're streaming right now versus our St. Clair Saints. 2-1 match point going over to Brian Stratton College. If they can manage to get themselves one more, Saints never say die though. Pick up game three, keep themselves in this one. Winthrop versus Blinn, that is looking like an absolute steamroll and a half. Definitely feeling a little bit bad there for Blinn with the way this one's going. Illinois versus Converse, nice and even all tied up at 1-1. Northwood and SHU haven't had any matches yet. Maryville versus Fisher, 1-1 one one as well. So a lot of close matches so far here in this first round of the Overwatch Collegiate Homecoming. Good to see so many fantastic matches, of course. If anyone's tuning in and wants to watch more of this league, even after our Saints match is completed or whatnot, I believe they're on YouTube as well for their VODs. Overwatch Esports is where we can find that. And of course, if you're just looking for any sort of VOD St. Clair related, like this VOD, for example, later on down the road, Saints Gaming CA VODs is where you can find every VOD that we've ever had since like 2017 so quite the archive quite the catalog all free take a lot of pride in making sure that's available for y'all so you can relive the memories of these matches for a long time to come as of right now that we are still waiting for our players to come back from break it does look like we are going to be going to king's row so we were talking about match or maps that we've seen basically every single game of the regular season. Well, this is definitely one of them. Ready checks coming on through for both sides as well. Should be getting underway with this one very, very soon. Just trying to figure out who's starting on what side and whatnot. So hang tight. We'll be right back. Game number four on King's Row coming right up.
we do hop into game number four, of course, I want to give a big thank you to everybody who's tuning in to the Saints stream and supporting myself here on this broadcast, as well as your your players, your teams, whomever it may be that you happen to be supporting. Just means the absolute world. And my little uh, shit up for everybody. If there's somebody who appreciates what you're doing and respects the hell out of you for it, if it's a significant other, make sure you tell them that you love them. If it's a coworker or something along those lines, just make sure to say thank you. Because you absolutely never know what it could be like without them. Game four, one minute. All right, Saints Nation, can we make this reverse sweep happen? Well, we're in game number four after what looked like a dire game number one and two. So maybe, maybe it's in the cards. We'll have to see. So, nothing. As of right now, it's going to be our Saints on the attacking side here for King's Row. Going to be... Brian Stratton, of course, on the defensive side, and we've been seeing time and time again, manually on these hit scans have been absolutely nasty. Peace on this Farah has been extremely brutal to deal with, but they might have a something coming for them here. Noxious, snipe on target, nearly chunking Peace down immediately, but not enough to get the job done. Enough to scare him, though, at least. So now, seems to have an opportunity to kind of move on forward because Peace has to be extremely careful. See, straight up going indoors, which is exactly where Noxious would absolutely love to play. Shotguns indoors, definitely a little devastating. Squeak now onto point to be able to really put the pressure on to this capture. Let's take a look and see what it's looking like all around. Saints kind of hovering around the building side of things. Noxious, of course, wanted to go on inside, waiting for Squeak, however. It's going to be peace over in the ground, actually. Pushed right off the point. Gonna see Noxious up to the high ground. Not gonna be able to deal with them, however. Razor gonna nearly get taken down. Translocator. Did you get punched midair? What on earth? That might have been a first for me. What a play coming out here from Peace and the rest of Brian and Stratton to shut that down pretty well immediately. Manually and the rest of the squad clean up. Did Mate really just melee him midair? I'd be shook. Absolutely shook. But Stokes and the rest of the Saints are going to be moving on through here in just a moment's time. Speed boosted, ready to go. Trying to get the pressure onto this Farah, really forcing Peace to just jump all over the place. Meanwhile, however, nobody's really been able to deal with manually up on the high ground. Just popping shots over and over and over again. Red X alongside the rest of the squad. At least they're all kind of grouped up, so maximum healing across the squad. 
Soak's gonna be doing the same thing as well. Squeak, gonna be making the move momentarily, diving on through the hallway. I mean, if there's any way to kind of take this, would definitely be super effective. Barrage of absolutely nothing. Getting evaporated here. Big break here for this side of St. Clair. Bob's gonna come out to play right on the point. Knock Squeak up into the skies. That coalescence is barely keeping them alive. Not enough to actually hang on long enough, however. Does not matter though here for St. Clair. They are gonna be able to get position and are gonna be able to start gaining some percentage here onto this capture point. Gets the first tick. Can they go all the way here? We do see the reinforcements from the side of Bryant and Stratton right around the corner, but at the same time, Squeak has returned. One more push here for Bryant and Stratton to try and get on the point right at the last possible second. Scoop them up, knock them down. Three of them, no. It waits a little bit too long. And that is going to be Bryant Stratton's front line getting eliminated right off the back. Noxious, spin the win all over them, why don't you? And that fight was good as done. The Saints capture the point. The little cherry on top, just to kind of secure that point and get this payload moving where I believe it is going to be Soaks, who's kind of stuck on cart duty alongside Noxious. Party time at the cart, but up in the front line is where we are going to see. Can the Saints hold at a pretty far enough distance to warrant this cart moving a ton? We'll have to see. Pantera and the rest of the Brian Stratton squad looking to make their way around. That's gonna be Peace looking for the flank though. As the card gets moving, Red X is gonna be stuck in a little bit of an awkward spot between a wall and a rocket. And that's definitely not optimal, but we are gonna see the Coalescence coming on down here once again. Soak and Squeak and the rest of the squad from the Saints pushing on forward. Kamehameha across everybody. Peace is not gonna be able to get much done considering the healing was just too strong. Pushed aside, Squeak's gonna take the shots and be completely content with that as they're able to push this cart further and further away. But now actually Pantera moves on forward once again. Soaks AoE healing here on this Lucio is doing absolutely fantastic. Four player EMP coming out here from Razor. You want to shut something down nice and quick. Getting four of them just like that might damn well do it. That should be two checkpoints here for St. Clair at this rate. Cruising on forward, we see Razor and Squeak in the background, just making sure nobody tries a last minute Hail Mary play onto the cart. And there we go, Saints, two quick points here. This is Saints Row for a reason. Can they find themselves a three cap? Sneaky, sneaky little piece in the background, waiting for their opportunity to strike. We do see in the background, cart making their move, but with it being a lot of open space still, Lots of space for peace and manually as well to just get some long sight lines onto the Saints roster. And again, they don't do necessarily a very great job at these long range pokes. And that is going to open a door as Soaks does end up going down. Noxious has been put on hot pursuit. Soaks is extremely low as well. Good night. Rocket to the face. Malga is down. And manually, and the rest on the side of Bryant and Stratton going to be able to capitalize on that. Send the Saints running back to the respawn room to uh, regroup and try to push again. We might very well have five ultimates on the board here for Bryant and Stratton with the way this one's going. I'm just waiting for it. And actually, hang on, immediately smoked is going to be the Farah. Scoops him up, Pantera slams it down. It is gonna be taking care of Soaks. Call Essence coming out here from Red X to try and keep everybody alive. But we also have the ultimate from Prota on top of the tank lines, keep everybody safe and sound. This card has been having a hard time moving here. Until the moment Saints finally find an opportunity to break on through. Noxious is rather low for the time being. Gets back to their support line. Peace has moved back to the May and manually is going to be able to find a quick pick here with this Ash. And it's going to force the Saints to run once again all the way back. And that wall is going to just make things so much more difficult than it has to be. It's going to be Squeak trying to charge on in and get something done. Maybe snag one for retaliation? No, not quite. Proto going to find the kill on the Squeak. And now this next five on five is just that much more delayed. Lots of ultimates were burned though from the side of Brian and Stratton, so honestly, not terrible all things considered. Two on the board here for St. Clair, including the EMP coming out here from Razor. 
Can they hit the spot? Can they find another four? Maybe a five player EMP to shut things down nice and quickly? We'll have to see. The cart is moving, but lots of dynamite fire damage coming on through. Razor did just get knocked off immediately. He's probably going to fall pretty quickly at this rate. No, never mind. Did end up getting healed. Pantera on the other side, though. There is no tank line here for Brian Stratton. Noxious does manage to take another one off the board. Red going to get credited with the elimination for it. So now, Cart is on the way. Peace does have the Blizzard available. We'll have to see when exactly that comes on down. Bob is available to stall things out as well. Can the Saints push this to a three cap? Bob is going to be coming on down pretty well immediately. And we're just going to blow everything. That is an EMP onto the May. No Blizzard in sight. Can they capitalize? No, the Bet Lizard is going to come on down. Basically right on the cards. Peace and Proda and the rest of the squad here for Brian Stratton College are going to be able to clean this one up slowly. But surely, Saints, you have one more push here to try and get a three cap. That very well might have been the Saints' best opportunity. Pantera has their ultimate as well. So as soon as the Saints start diving in onto that cart, you know the AoE damage possibilities are going to be absolutely ridiculous. As well as maybe even be able to scoop them off the point if it's positioned correctly. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Over time ticking. You see the Saints coming on through. That Dynamite is doing tons of damage on the squeak. And here we go. Scoop him up. Slam him down. Nobody going to end up going down this time. Bye. Noxious point blank alongside everybody. Spin to win is going to get absolutely nobody, it looks like. Coalescence does pick up Nanwai, so there's at least a little bit of healing off the board here for Brian Stratton. No healing there onto Squeak as well. They slowly but surely shotgun everybody down there with that May Freeze. And the Saints are going to be stuck in the chair on the outside looking in as they are right on the doorstep but could not find that third point. A valiant push nonetheless but it is going to be coming up just short. So now Brian Stratton don't have to necessarily push this all the way. They just have to match and then beat the Saints time and they will be walking away with the win here in this first round of the Overwatch Collegiate Homecoming double elimination bracket. And sending our Saints to have to play next weekend in the lower bracket for their tournament life. Worst part about that too, it's just on the outside of the actual prize money. You need to make that top eight in order to get their one win in this bracket. On the winner's side would get you there. Drop to lowers right away though, it is no guarantee. I think you have to win one or two matches in order to get any sort of prizing. To have made it this far is still a remarkable accomplishment in its own right here for the college. But you know the Saints are hungry. You know they want more. What up, Squeak? You know they want the prize in. As we swap sides here, Noxious is going to be going over on this Widowmaker. I want to take a quick peek and see if they get anything crafty. Maybe a little bit of an angle. Wait for it. Oh my goodness! That's exactly what we're looking for. Absolute cinema coming out here from Noxious. It's what we like to see. How about that? Shutting down your push nice and quick. All right, Peace is going to be switching on over to the Genji this time. Something a little bit more mobile compared to annoying manually. I mean, it's been playing long-range hit scans basically this entire day. Why not pick up the Widow instead? Make things nice and annoying here for the Saints. Then why close quarters looking for some assistance. Squeak is diving on through. Can they stop this attack where it stands? Where in the world is everybody? We will soon find out. Peace is going to find one, but it is going to be at the cost of Manually's life, though. Red X, give him a quick bonk on the noggin to finish the job there. Peace, tons of damage onto the tank line, but Soaks is right there to defend. Stuns and just being pushed away time and time again. But in the meantime, Brian Stratton College are on the point. The Saints need to keep themselves alive. Defender's advantage is definitely real here on Saints Row, and they are going to have to give this one up. Razor is going to be absolutely taken down. Not much further that you can go in that instance. And the Saints... Five minutes, try and kill. Let's see if they can hang on to this one. Two points and almost the third point is where they got to defend from. Red X is going to be taking a hard sniper shot there. Not going to go down, though. Like 
Saints able to fight back, however. Squeak might be getting a little bit low, a little bit worse for wear. We're going to see the ultimate come on down. Spin it up, knock him down. No damage this time, though. Razor is going to be able to actually get the reflex kill on the manually. Holy smokes, what a shot. It's going to be peace, though. Dragon Blade. Can we find it? Finds one, finds two, finds three. And we're just going to clean everything up, why don't we? Does not matter if you have a space laser. I have a dragon sword. Pose on them, haters, as you move across the cart. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but the fact that character looks like they're from My Hero Academia. That has to be intentional, right? Oh, Genji fight? Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit of infer interference. Um, no sword fight this time. Okay, the Widow Duel is just going to be immediately won there by Noxious, right after Manually was the one who actually popped the ultimate. So the Saints have themselves a fantastic opportunity to move on forward and just take control of this cart, and that they are going to actually be able to do nice and quickly. Squeak and the rest of Squad moving on forward. Noxious, any sort of sneaky little picks here? A little bit of a flanking position. Oh my god, Manually! immediately take it off the board okay the reflect again though what are what is up with these reflex from these Gedges? i mean that we hardly ever see that at all we're gonna see it twice here in one game and we are gonna have the dragon blade into insta gib true combo coming out here from razor could not quite get the job done but the rest of the saints are still there to try and put some pressure onto this card squeak is going to be eliminated this one is not looking long here from the side of saint Clair. peace is going to go run up and just instantly scoop up red x and now the Saints were able to completely demolish two minutes off the board. But that is it. That is all. And it looks like a little bit of a change in game plan was exactly what the Bryant Stratton squad were, were looking for. As we bring this up to 420, we have about just above, of course, four minutes here for Bryant and Stratton to blaze it on forward towards that third point. And manually is going to be the last one laughing this time here. Gets the headshot on to Razor. No reflect this time. But ends up being smoked by Noxious, though. Where is Noxious? There we go. Immediately getting jumped on. Fantastic call out there from Peace to be able to make that move. That could be very, very detrimental. Let's take a look and see what on earth is even going down here. Space Laser is coming on down. It is going to be Squeak finding themselves to double as they were actually pretty deep in the defensive line. Or the offensive line, rather. And the Saints is going to push on forward slowly but surely. Run them down. Send them back packing here. Razor, again, quick double to finish off that fight. Speaking of snipers, game's telling me that I should probably look manually. Oh man, not uh, finding the better portion of these Widow duels as of yet. And you can see Noxious is positioning, looking for Proda. Soak's actually immediately taking care of Peace. That's a fantastic one. Noxious gonna find another one onto the support line. Nenway taken down. Nenway rather, immediately taken down. Sent back to the room, packing. But, oh lord, they come in with four ultimates for the next time by. Granted, one of them is just wall hacks, but I mean, it's wall hacks. That's still pretty sick. Don't get me wrong. Okay, Noxious going to match wall hacks with wall hacks here. Sees Peace up into the top. Looking to see if they can maybe sneak the pick. You can tell they're looking for that Widowmaker, but oh, what a big scoop, actually. Oh my goodness, the damage coming out from Proda and Pantera immediately evaporating St. Clair. They have all the time in the world now to push this card all the way over to the end zone. Is it going to be over just like that? In the blink of an eye, while my camera's transitioning. That looks like it very well might be the case. It is going to be Razor diving on in. Dragon Blade into immediate death. The true combo coming out once again. Good night, Sinclair. The day is done. Bryant and Stratton College are going to be victorious here in tonight's matchup. And I think Peace here has the play of the game. Fair enough. Was this the Dragon Blade? Sure enough, the one that did break them down, even through the Space Laser, does not matter. This was, I believe, a Quadra at the end of the day. Maybe not, but still, fantastic job there for Brian Stratton College. So what does that mean here for your St. Clair Saints? So if, with this being double elimination, the run is not done just yet, but... 
This does mean that it is done for today. We will be joining up with our Saints Overwatch squad same time that we're trying to do TXP4 next weekend, Saturday at 2 p.m. Whether that's handled by us or whether that's handled by Overwatch Esports, not quite sure. We're going to have to figure it out in the meantime. But you can be certain that the post will be up on the Saints Gaming CA Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. Um one we know for sure. Definitely going to be a busy weekend, but still want to make sure that all of our teams are covered. Much love to everybody who joined us here, or joined me rather, here on the broadcast to support their classmates, family members, whomever it might have been. Definitely much appreciated. We will see you tomorrow, of course. We have another week off of NACE Varsity Premier action, which means we do have an opportunity to get a couple more matches from teams that we haven't really had the opportunity to see throughout the week. Looking at that specifically, I have the schedule actually here for you. Not often graphic, just going to have to listen to me for a second here. We have an Academy Rocket.